Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 29 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And, oh my goodness, it's like 12 p.m. right now, or 12 a.m. actually. And we're going to go ahead and do Evergreen Lift here, which we unlocked last time. I'm actually probably going to go back and do Frigid Fjords in this level 2 again, because as we know, I didn't get gold last time, and I want to do that. Even though I'm not sure if there's anything you get for getting gold on any level, or on every level, or whatever. I'm just a perfectionist like that, I guess. Mm. Yup, and maybe we'll get actually get to the next world in this video too. Who knows? Because we unlock that too. So it's gonna be a very eventful episode, I assume. And it's kind of weird. It's kind of ironic that I'm recording this right now because I am so tired, man. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I record best when I'm tired, though. So I guess we'll just see how this turns out. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's probably best not to do this, this level of all things when you're tired, though, because this level actually requires quite a bit of concentration if you want to get everything out of this. Because uh, as you can see, it's pretty much an auto-scrolling level. It's just a different kind of auto-scrolling where you're controlling the auto-scrolling. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Huh. Mm. Yeah. But this is quite a bit easier than like other auto-scrolling levels. Mainly because you can control it in the fact that this, like this thing, it doesn't stay completely wound up the whole time, and you have to like rewind it. And when the platform actually stops, it, like you just saw it did, um, you actually get like a brief moment of reprieve where you can just take things in, just take in the level, you know, and get your bearings and do all that crazy stuff. All right, I, I especially remember this part being kind of annoying. I don't know, it doesn't seem all that bad. Just these two arrows going side to side. Nothing spectacular here. Oh, well, there you go. I think you want to do that, though. Yeah, there you go. That was beautiful. Oh, I see a treasure there, though, so we better get that going. Come on. Yes, I got it. Before I got crushed by that thing. Yeah, you gotta be careful not to get crushed here, too. Holiday tree. Just looking at this tree is sure to bring back good memories. Man, I've had a lot of good memories today. I don't know. Even just playing this game now, I've been thinking of some good memories. Like that, uh, that day in the summer, actually in the autumn of 2007. Man, that was a good day. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Basically what happened on that day is that, uh, it was, I w it was supposed to be a school day, but I was sick, and I wasn't even, like, faking sick like I do sometimes. Which is not good, I know, but sometimes you just gotta do it, man. But yeah, I was just, I was sick that day, and I was at home with my dad, and he was the only one home. And we had rented Super Monkey Ball 2 for the GameCube. And, oh, it was just so great because we, like, spent the whole day just playing that. Just, just me and him, and it was, like, the best time ever. And it was just so much fun. And it actually was so good that it made me feel, like, better, like, physically better. It made me, it helped with my sickness a little bit, so it was, it was just really, I don't know. Oh, I just love those days where you can just, like, it seems, like, so insignificant now, just thinking back on it, because it's like, well, you're just playing a video game, and, like, what's the big deal about that? People play video games with their families all the time. It's no, it's not, it's no huge deal, but, I don't know. It's just one of those kind of 90s moments, where you, like, because back in the 90s when everything was just all much less, like, technologically advanced, and there was much less luxury, and you just... Spent your days at home playing video games, lying prone on the floor, on the carpet and stuff. This sparkling holiday wreath is shaped like a star. Pretty nice, indeed. Mm, shaped like a power star. I don't know, though. Yeah. And the funny thing about that day is that uh, I know that if I had gone to school on that day, I would have just it would have just been one of the worst days of my life because, uh, I still remember what we were doing on that day. It was just... Uh, I was in grade 7 back then, we were doing this science thing, and it was just so stupid. Even though I like science, generally, it was just, it was really stupid what we were doing. Man, I'm surprised that guy didn't hit me there. <laughs> it looks like he should've with his big horn on his head. His uni horn. Don't worry about getting gold on this level either, well, do worry about it, because you are going to have to focus on getting the beads to do it. But, um, they give you way more beads than you need. And I think that's mainly because they know how easy it is to get crushed in this level and lose a bunch of beads. Because I've done that a lot of my playthroughs of this. Quilty Court music. Why is that an evergreen terrace? Not evergreen terrace, um, evergreen lift here. I don't know. There's all sorts of music discs that are out of place in this game. Well, out of place, like, you find them and... 
Never mind, you know what I mean. Alright. Man, look, that star looks so much realer now. Now that it's all big and it looks all felty. Wonder how that'll turn out on the video if the quality will show how felty it looks. Is felty a word? I don't even know. Man, my commentary is just so, like, ah. Uh, I sound so disillusioned right now or something. And I kind of am disillusioned, I'm not going to lie. It is pretty great. It's a pretty great feeling. Uh, dude, there's like a giant wreath in the background. I just noticed that. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't it be awesome if like that wreath was like, you were you started at the bottom of the level and it was the bottom of the wreath there. And you could just like see little tidbits of it throughout the level. And then finally see the top of it at the top. And it's just like, it gives you an extra motivation to keep going. Because you want to see the whole completion of the wreath. Because that's the completion of the joy of Christmas, you know. And it's great. Speaking of Christmas, we're coming up on Christmas pretty soon here. It's December 1st. Well, actually, December 2nd right now. We're 12 minutes into December 2nd, by my eye. And by my time zone, anyways. Alright, let's see if we can do goal on this level. I might have to concentrate on the game on instead of commentary for this one. Because it is kind of hard to get goal on this level. You pretty much have to win on this level to get goal on it. You might be able to pull it off if you get second place, but... It's preferable to get to get first place and get all the beads that you can for winning. Uh, Cause I'm one greedy bastard. What can I say? Gotta get all them beads. All right, there's a tricky jump right here that if you do just right, which I did there, cool. Yes, yeah, so if you jump just like I did, like rewind the video and jump like I did, if you have if you have to, and you can get that star that's the, the bottom of the crevice there. Cause if you jump too early, you're just gonna run into the back of that wall D. I screwed that up. Oh well. It's not too bad. Not of great consequence. Actually, it is kind of great consequence. Because now I, can, I don't think I can get first now. I have to kind of flub this up a little bit. I'll keep going, though, just to, just to see how things go. Yeah, but about that jump that I just did back there, uh, that I was explaining. If you jump too early, then you'll run into the back of the wall D. But if you jump too late, then you'll run into the booster there that's at the top of the little pit. Dude, get out of my way. <laughs> Holy crap. What's up here? Oh, there's a star. It's a star. It's a star. I think I missed the patch. I think if you go down there instead of up like I did, there you can get a patch, which might be more valuable than the star, depending on your perception of it, but... Whatever. Whatever's clever. Alright. Man. Oh, my furnace is going in the background, so it sounds so, like... I don't know. This music sounds a lot calmer than it normally does, because it's being for overshadowed by the... By the furnace. By the furnace! Alright. Uh, unless I get enough beads. I'm not gonna get enough beads off this wheel to get. No way. This ain't happening, man. Oh, what the hell was I doing? I said I was supposed to concentrate on the game and I ended up just not concentrating at all. Oh well. I'll just go at it again, I guess. I'll keep doing this level over and over again until I get gold. Oh, so how are you guys doing? I generally want to know. I, I honestly do. I promise I'll reply if you leave how you're doing and how your day has been in, sp in specific detail. If it's been awesome or bad, I can sympathize with you or I can say, oh man, you rock. Rock on, dude. I hope you're all having awesome days and awesome lives. My life could be better, I'm not going to lie, but... Hell. My life has seen such a drastic improvement in the past two years that I can't complain, really. There's always certain aspects of my life that just I wish c I could improve upon, but I guess that's for, that's true for everyone, I guess. I don't know. Let's see if I can get this jump again. Oh, I just missed it. Do oh, I missed. Oh, well. At least I didn't screw up there again. Man, last time I went through that part just now, I'd, like, hit all those walls and crap, and it's just like, uh. It's like, what are you doing running into the walls, man? Even though there are beads under those walls. It's not really worth it, because it'll... It'll detriment your time and ultimately cost you beads rather than saving you beads. Man, I'm so mad I didn't get that star at the bottom of the pit. <laughs> I don't know, I get so mad at myself when I don't do that. I don't know why. It's just like, oh, it's such an elusive star to get. But, alright, let's see. Yeah, there is a patch down here. I thought so. Personally, I think the patch is probably better than going up for the star like I did on my first run through of this. Or my second run through, I guess, technically. Technically speaking. Alright, oh crap. Oh my god, what did I just do? What the hell did I. Okay, no. I'm just gonna start that over. 
Totally screw that up at the end there. <laughs> I just landed on top of him. That's so funny when you land on top of Wall D and they just spin in circles. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut some of this out because we're gonna go past 13 minutes with this attempt here. And hopefully I can get it in this attempt at least. <laughs> so that I don't have to, like, cut out a bunch. Because I don't know. Some of that calmer commentary, I might want to put it through. I'm gonna have a hard time. I always, I always have a hard time trying to decide what commentary to leave in and what to take out. And it's gonna, like, depending on what I choose to leave in and what I choose to take out, it's gonna leave a totally different impact on the viewing experience. And that that viewing experience, it could last a lifetime. It really could, because like certain certain videos for me, they've la they've lasted for like such a long time even after I viewed them. And just the impact, and like, some of those videos do have cuts in them, and if those cuts are things like, I don't know, like if those things hadn't been cut out, how would my life be different than what it is right now? How would those memories be different? I don't know. I like to discuss those kind of things, just like, the what ifs, like, what if you could go back in time and change things? How different would your life be? Like, what if I could have gone back to those nights in Quebec and actually, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk about that here. I'll probably talk about that on a vlog or something sometime. I've been thinking about that, about starting a vlog channel or something. I need a video camera first, though. I don't know. I've just never had good luck with video cameras. That's the thing. It's like I've bought a few video cameras back in back in the past, and just like all of them have just turned out to be really shitty, and I don't know why. And I made that one video, like the unboxing video of this game, actually. Dude, did I win there? Please. Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, so I should get gold this time. Even just off this, I don't even need the bonus wheel, do I? No, I don't. Oh yeah, look at that. It's beautiful, beautiful. And win! Yay! What was I just talking about? I don't know, but we're well up past the time limit now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cut it here. And hopefully next time we'll get started on uh, the space land. I think it's what it's called, the next world of the game, because we're all done in the snow world. As much as it pains me. Especially since it's just the start of December and the whole Christmas season, and now I'm just past the Christmas world. That's eh, kind of unfortunate, but anyways, thanks everyone for watching. This has been Argon Matrix. Hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you, and good night.